Hi, Linda Brown here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Tuesday and Fancy Fold, and today I am featuring a book Z Fold card. Now, this um, Create a Fold was tr um, shared with me two different times in my recent challenge. One by a down, uh, both down lines were from Mineral, Ohio, Lee and Pat, and I will be sharing their cards either on my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, or my Facebook page. But I wanted to show you how easy um, this card is to make. I have a piece of Blackberry Billis cardstock. This measures three and a quarter by four four and a quarter. I have a piece of basic white. Um, it is four by four. Then I have a piece of the Thoughtful Journey six by six designer series paper. And then I have a piece of Blackberry Blisk. And this measures um, four and a quarter by 11. Now I noticed that I don't have two of the pieces cut that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my trimmer in and cut that and that's the designer series paper. I need it to be at four inches by one and three quarter and I need two pieces of them. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna cut it this way. So one and three quarter and one and three quarter. And then I am going to cut it at four inches. Is that correct? Yes, at four inches. So we've got those. I'm going to grab my Blackberry Bliss and I'm going to score it at the two and an eighth inch mark, the four and a quarter, and then finally at the five and a half. Now it has been raining all day, nobody's been out and about, and I notice now my neighbors are right out front of my door and they're talking, so if you hear talking going on, that is what's going on out there. Glad they're nice and friendly, but they could have waited until my my video was done. Um, anyways, I next have a piece of that designer series paper. Again, that is the Thoughtful Journeys. It measures four inches by five, and we are going to cut it at the one inch. The three inch and then that's going to give us a one inch that's left over. So I have two pieces that are one inch and one that's three inches and it's four inches long. I just want that design to be flowing along. So we're gonna bring back in my Blackberry um, Bliss um, cardstock and what we are going to do is we are going to add adhesive Let the inside flap like so. I'm going to fold that over. We're going to put our one piece of the one inch on the book binding side. Again, this is a book binding card but with a Z fold attached. So we've got that. Going to add that piece of basic white. This was four by four. I'm going to put that in like so. The other one inch drip is going to go on the other side. I'm going to line that right up with the white. We're going to fold this flap over. So here is our Z, here's our book fold, here's our Z fold, and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this piece right here, like so. So 
So I'm going to add my adhesive right on this flap. Go in and add that there. Then we're going to grab that 3 inch by 4 inch designer series paper and put that on the front. like so. Now I have my two pieces that I cut that are one and three quarter by four. I really think they probably should have been one and seven eighths. Let's see if I'm right. They should have been. Let's see if I can find another piece of that paper. Um, it's not really the one I want. I love the designs of this paper. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and go with this one, I guess. And we're going to, again, cut it at one and seven eighths instead of the one and three quarter. So, one and seven eighths one and seven eighths and then finally at the four and that is going to go on the back side of my card. You'll notice I have two cutting blades on my trimmer that is because the bottom one is an older one and I use that for cutting um, glimmer paper I'm going to go ahead and add these. You're really not going to see them that much on this back side. We've got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this piece in here like so. It's a little bit smaller. Again, I should have cut them at one and seven eighths by four. So I will put that in my measurements um, on my blog so that you will know that to cut them at that size. So we've got this. What I've done next is I have taken the Unbounded Love Bundle. Now this is part of the suite that I'm featuring on this month with my tutorial. And I've used the die and have cut out the designer series paper. Now this die, when you cut it, you get two separate pieces. You get an outline piece and the inside piece. I'm just going to flip it over so that I have that blue border. So this die is a great die to use with your designer series paper when you have the two different colors. I'm going to take my Blackberry Bliss the stamp is from that Unbounded Love Bundle, and it says, You are a blessing. Going to find a dimensional. Really wanted small dimensional. There we go. I don't want to put too many dimensionals on it because it's going to be on the edge of my card. But we're going to add that right there. Then I'm going to take the outline and I am going to add multi-purpose glue to that and put the border around. Isn't that fun? Next what I'm going to do is bring in my adhesive uh, dragonflies. These are from the adhesive dragonflies and birds that you can find in my online store. Got that dragonfly. Place that down there. And my magnetic watch band is working again. It's got that die hooked right onto it. Never have to worry about losing a die because it's connected to me. 
And there we have a very fun book binding, but with a Z opening. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.